Welcome back to My Medieval Corner. I've been doing a lot of fighting since I've healed up from my knee surgery, so I set out to test myself. I fought at a local level tournament and I won. Okay, cool, feeling good. Now on to regionals, up in Idaho with both the Idaho teams and the Montana team. And I won. So now on to nationals. By this point, I'm kind of freaking out. Any national level competition is no joke. I went to nationals, and you know what? Gold medal's gonna go to John Gasby of the Northwest region. I won. Not just me, the whole Northwest region and the local Crusaders took home medals. It was a glorious tournament for our area. Nine months from knee surgery, I carried myself to a national gold medal in sword and buckler. I also fought at a couple Ren Fairs and demos. So you know what that means? My armor has taken a hit when it comes to rust and sweat. In today's episode, we're going to disassemble and clean my leather sea belt. Then, we're going to take the rust off of my greaves. So, kick back, grab a horn, let's work on some armor. This is by far the oldest piece of my armor. I made it back in 2012 or 2013. I was in the SCA and I took a mean shot to the point of my hip. It felt like fire shot down through my leg and I went to the ground. The next day, I made this bad boy. Nothing special. I modeled it after some other kidney belts that I've seen. They're also known as C belts. I used veggie tan leather, double cap rivets, and buckles. We're going to strip it down, pop off all the rivets, take off all the straps. And this is why I like using cap rivets. You can easily remove, then repair. Then we're going to hit the base belt with saddle soap to help get all that sweat, salt, dirt, blood, and beer out of the leather. We're going to have to scrub this one a bit. The plates I'm not too worried about, but these straps and buckles will have to be redone. This will be a process because I want to reinforce the belt in some spots. So, stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I made these greaves out of mild steel that I got from Home Depot. I've been fighting in them for almost two years and I think they're holding up well. I will be making new enclosed greaves eventually, but with mild steel, they rust like no other. So what we're gonna do is hit them with some WD-40 and then go over them with a wire brush. Pretty straightforward. It takes way longer to do than it does to explain, so I'm going to let this play out for a second, and then we'll move forward. After it's all brushed, we're going to wipe off the rust and the WD-40. Then we're going to use a 3-in-1 oil to coat the steel. WD-40 is great for removing rust and to lubricate, but it doesn't work as a coating oil. Rub it down with a cloth and leave some oil on it to protect it. In my next video, we're going to do the queases. I get a lot of enjoyment out of cleaning and repairing my armor. It 
helps me relax and it takes the edge off after a couple tournaments. So expect more armor cleaning in the upcoming episodes. Given the recent victories and return to form, I believe it's worthy of a toast. Today's horn chug is Modelo. And I have to give a big shout out to my friends in the sport who have asked me when I was going to put out more videos. Thank you for lighting a fire under me to get back at it. This chug is for you. Here's to victory, creativity, and longevity. Skull. Ah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. This is a journey, medieval combat, that we can all share. We'll see you next time here at My Medieval Corner.